No, I will. I think... Just just a pred for the mid. I think Mixup will take this mid. Seagull's gonna land some sick damage. So I'm gonna be watching from Seagull's perspective. I love watching from Dumbo POV at mid. Let's see what he does. Yeah, and uh, meanwhile Enigma with the sparkly gun running up there as well. Uh, as we get to mid here, checking out uh, the POV of Sweater as well. Both devils actually went for the ground. Decent stickies going out. H uh, Sweater hitting some decent damage. The high bomb in the sky for Harblue. Doesn't really make much of it, but Platinum hits a pill to take down Squid and Boink goes down here as well. So it makes up with an edge. Moose, meanwhile, cleaning up the point. He's pushing himself across there and he's going to chase down in Dust, who's trying to back his way out to the lobby, but no, gets cornered there by Moose. And Harblue Sweater, the only one alive, trapped in the lobby. He's going to go down and mix up with a definitive first round win or first mid win. Yes, indeed. And with that mid secured, they will be looking to push into two. They now have five men up. Inda still not up. They will not have the heals to support contesting that second point. So this will surely go to mix up and they will be able to push last with a 90 to 80 percent uber advantage. They're going to look for those picks like they do on their previous previous matches. Rather, they go straight for the kills and then they go for the point. They know that that last point is a death trap and they need to get those kills before they can cap. So look for that. Yeah, Squitter playing Sniper on last, Kapow over on Heavy, so uh, they're going to choose to not have any scouts on their last point. Smacka has a large 40% Uber advantage here, so we should be seeing that push, and yeah, the Uber is popped fairly early, and Platinum is having difficulties getting into the fight. Moose goes down to Boink here as well, Platinum dives in for the Heavy, but Boink getting another kill there on a Seagull and Enigma, so a 3k for Boink as uh, looks like Sweater picks up a kill there, or sorry, Randall picks a kill there. Uh, looks like Squid gets another one onto Harblue, and it's only Smack alive, he's backing himself out through the yard. Nice last point defense for AG. Yeah, and only Smacka getting out there and Dust holding on to his Uber. Did not have to pop it. Obviously he did not have it, but he does now. They can push mid with this advantage and they can take it if they can get in here securely, which they're looking to now. No sticky setup, so there is no real danger to end us right now. They're getting in for free. A scout flanking the medic, but just passing him. And they're sitting on point, putting that cap time down. Rando goes down to some stickies. Boink goes down to Moose, and now they're looking at trying to cap this mid with a two-person deficit. They're looking at backing up now and maybe just conceding the point to look to get to even ground again. And no, they do Uber a scout into the combo. Before they get Uber, they need to get that medic now. Surely they will, but the scouts will be out of ammo, and they barely get the medic with some pistol fire. Both scouts will get cleaned up. Sweater picking off Harblue, and Indus going down in the trade. They will be able to secure this middle point and be pushing AG second again. Wow, uh, interesting de decision by uh, AG to try and defend the point with Uber. It would have worked there, but it, they took way too long to kill Smacka. By the time they unloaded all of their ammo, uh, Mixup was able to collapse in and take down Sweater and uh, the Medic in Dust. So it looks like the Ubers are sort of even themselves out here as Kapow is uh, checking what Uber gun uh, Smacka is on. And actually, Harbo is actually deciding to play Spy, so we should be seeing that Spy cam here. And uh, this is a decent choice here on the stalemate. Yeah, Harblue has favored spy play in the past. He likes to get behind and make things happen. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> so he's gonna he's on the normal invis watch there and uh, goes through the lobby undetected. Gonna uncloak uh, in the enemy's lobby. Uh, meanwhile, the Ubers have even themselves out here. Harblue playing towards uh, last. He's just gonna chill out there, so I guess he's gonna wait for his uh, watch to regen, and I don't know if you're AG, do you suspect a spy play right now, or are you thinking, wow, they're just taking their sweet time? I do not think so. However, he does spot that spy. The spy does go down, but not before he face stabs Boink. So that is a one for one, a roamer for roamer trade, and they should be able to hold this without a problem. Boink will be back here uh, before Harblue can return. So we'll just be having a second hold again. Yep, five on five here, and uh, quite the stalemate that we're seeing. <laughs> yes, quite the stalemate indeed. <laughs> is, is Not really sure what like, else to say the, about that. The map is like Newark. I mean, this is reminiscent of those stalemates that we used to see on Granary way back in the day. Yeah, uh, and I was we just don't see those anymore. But I was about to make a comment about how Granary's next week, and I hope you're excited about those <laughs> stalemates because they are going to happen. Yeah. Well, uh, meanwhile, Plat is just throwing in rockets towards the second point, and really nothing coming of it. And uh, Harblue decides to come back on Roamer, so maybe he goes for that bomb. Yeah, he's bombing into a second point. Decent rockets landing on a dust down to just 33 health. 
but and does get that force. Great job there by Harblu. So uh, now you see Mick, uh, AG in a weird position with the number advantage. They want to force that Uber there from Smacka, but Smacka's fully pulled himself out. And now Mixup are going to regroup and get this push going. Yeah, they're going to be looking to push from probably underpass or alley. They're going alley, they're bringing a scout, they want to get in, and they're going to want to get that medic or the demo pick immediately. Both soldiers jumping to try to get aggressive. Boink now jumping out. They are extracting themselves from this point. Boink jumping in, getting airshot by Platt. But Smack is still holding on to his Uber with about 86 health, not a problem. And Dust is 70% right now. They will have Uber by the time Mixup pushes last if they do not do it quickly. Yep, uh, Mixup are thinking about pushing it, but they're taking their sweet time, and Dust is gonna get this Uber here, and Boyk is gonna be alive, so we should be seeing a 6 on 6 even push here into last. Smacka is popping now onto Platinum and flashing a lot, but so is in Dust here. The heavy is out for AG. Kapow shooting people down as Boink picks off Harblue. They're trying to get some pressure in towards the lobby. Sweater taking heavy damage, though. They're gonna have to pull back off of that. 6 on 5 in favor of AG. They're gonna decide not to push as Boink trades with Moose, and we'll be seeing things even out once again. Yeah, Boink looking to jump in there on that medic, knowing that he was hurt. Just barely caught the face of Moose with his rocket launcher, and Moose gets to be dead. So Moose dying to that rocket by Boink instead of Smacka, just eating that for him. Intentional or not, good play. Um, mm -hmm. And we're going to be looking at another just hold here by what? AG. AG very good at holding their last, it seems, and they are running a sniper, so they will be looking to get a pick on the entry. Yeah, meanwhile, Enigma is going for an interesting play here. He switched himself over to Engineer, and I don't think I've seen an offensive Engineer push into last on Metalworks quite yet. Uh, it used to be a strategy that was common on, you know, Warmfront and maybe even G Javel Pit. Pit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, here he is setting up the teleporter. That's going to allow his sense. teams to get faster forward spawns. And then, yeah, this is a very defensive, choky uh, way to push into last. I like it. I, I really like Harblu it. Now. Harblu goes for that, but no, gets denied instantly by Kapow. And I don't think AG are going to push off of this. They have two. They don't have any scouts there. And Enigma, meanwhile, still setting up that level one. Yeah, and the the NG is meant to bridge the gap between the spawn being so far away. Squid is peeking very offensively into lobby right now, looking to grab a pick onto either Platt, missing the shot. But that's okay. I want to talk about this NG anyway. And what that <laughs> teleporter does is it's going to get that really far back forward spawn and turn it into a really far forward forward spawn. Yeah. So, I like it. Interesting play. I like seeing new things. How about you? Yeah, Enigma always pushing the meta game there. And that sentry gun is going to cover two doors out of the three as Hard Blue goes for yet another bomb. And they can do this all day long here because AG are going to have the toughest time pushing up against this level three sentry. Boink goes for that bomb, denied there by Platinum. And Smack is doing a great job of staying out of the way. Yeah, that sentry is going to be a thorn in AG's side if they try to push, and they'll be in for a surprise when Platinum backs out on the left side and they have a sentry in their face. Platinum gets a nice force there onto Indus, and Smack is getting juggled up in the air, but a great rocket surf out of there. He's almost making it alive, but no, Squitter is able to chase him down. Plat and Smack are down here for mix-up, and now they have to take down this level 3 sentry, which is set up on that left side ramp. It's holding them off pretty well here, but AG needs to move quickly if they want to take second point. Yeah, Rando now dipping down into the red health as he tries to push out the left side. Harblu contesting him on the left side. Does not take him out. He is getting pocket healed by Endust. And now they're sitting at about a 40% advantage over Smacka. They can push out a level 1 sentry going back up. Enigma staying on NG and putting that last level 1 up. Not doing much though. They are pushing out here with this advantage. And this is the game I wanted to see. They're going to be recapping that second point. AG wants this. Yeah, they do. Uh, they get that second point down, and Dust, huge uber advantage here, and there's no scouts alive for mix-up, so now Siegel just setting up this trap. He knows the push is coming in any moment here now. Squid and Boink are taking over the lobby, and it's just we're oh. just moments away from seeing that AG push. And Smacka should go down here, no problem. He's surfing out a beautiful surf by Smacka out of that soldier's reach, and they should be okay. They can hold second here. And even perhaps try to push back into th into mid if they can get in right now. Sweater down in the red health. Boink overextended. He may go down here. He does not. He does get out. So they will opt to back out here. And AG will secure the middle point while Mixup is sitting pretty at 80% advantage or 80% Uber on their second. Yep. And now it's on Mixup to try and get a better push in with their Uber. Platinum is just getting up to his team here now, so that's going to delay the push just a little bit longer. 
But you do see Mix Up starting to make their way through the yard here. Seagull going for these sticky snipes out of that right side. And AG are playing their medic pretty far back. They're looking around for the trap here now. And it looks like Mix Up are getting in what could be for free. Smacka has not popped it quite yet. Now he's finally popping after being forced from Sweater. And they're leading a scout demo in towards the yard. Looks like there's a couple trap players there from uh, AG. But no, and Dust is able to get the Uber in time. And here comes the turnaround. Rando on the point. Bombs himself towards the scout and picks off a, a Moose. Enigma goes down here as well. It puts... Uh, mix up two players down three now as Kapow gets out um, onto Platinum. And now Mix up are in trouble. They're going to have to back themselves out of mid, and AG are just rolling their way through. I'm going to be watching Kapow right now. They do not know of this flank that's coming in on the medic. Harblue does smell it with his super schnoz, if you will. But I just want to make a, a, a comment about Indus. He is, his name must be Bob because he builds so dang fast. I did not expect him to have that Uber by the time they were. <laughs> encroaching on that midpoint. Almost didn't catch that Bob the Builder joke. Anyways, yeah, and Dust is, is playing out of his mind now. 40% uh, Uber advantage over Smacka. And uh, this could be AG's uh, chance to take the lead in this match. The score is 0-0 if you guys are just joining us now. We're about 11 minutes into the match here now as Rando is leading his team in towards that left side. They take out the sentry gun easily and now Rando bombs in towards the heavy. They bring in a scout to take him down. Squitter is able to pick him off. Harblue goes down here as well. And AG capture the point to make it 1-0. A great first round for them. Oh man, that was a an awesome round. I, I love it. I can't wait to see this next round. This is the TF2 that I love and hopefully that the viewers love. Yeah, uh, it was a quite a back and forth round there. Mixup had their chance at last, but no, AG were able to use that momentum to take it all the way back and take that round. And now I'm going to be watching uh, Sweater on this first mid to see what he does. He again goes for the ground rollout as we see a pause in the second round. Uh-oh. Well, um... Yeah, I'm going to watch Boink this time. Uh, Boink has been having a very good game, I would say. Uh, getting that 3k at their last hold was unprecedented. And it's, it's very unusual for Rome soldiers to get 3ks. Although, I should say, Memphis Vaughn got a 3k last night. Um, <laughs> I think Scarlet got, got a pretty big 2-3k uh, also against uh, Mixup. And here we are, back in the game. Boink, POV right now. He's going to be jumping in onto the top of point, landing a nice rocket onto Enigma, jumping in for Platinum, and Platinum is very hurt, goes down to Sweater. The aggression is all over mix-up, with Moose going down, also in dust, biting the dust. Yeah, that is it. The HUD on the left side of your screen is going to be a little bit outdated here because of that pause, but Smacka's made it out alive and Dust went down, so uh, now Mixup we're going to have an uber advantage, but AG with these numbers are already going to take over that second point. I love the aggression from the scouts on mid. They're doing such a great job of denying the soldiers from Mixup there, and now Mixup are in a weird position. They have the uber advantage, but they got to be careful when they push out a last tier. Yeah, I mean, the sticky traps can just cause so much trouble, and they are a headache for the medic. They can just be hidden anywhere, even in the smallest nooks and crannies. But they are getting on this point pretty much scotch-free. Squid taking out Harb, and Seagull taking out Rando here. And us backing out. No problem on that. Two players in the red health on AG. Scout chasing Kapow at mid. And the aggression is just full force from Mixup. They're going to be looking to take this mid right away. Yeah, and it looks like they have that number advantage they need. Uh, looks like, I think that's Boink dancing around there in the enemy alleyway and distracting the mix-up team from pushing. Here he is just jumping around, uh, and it's very difficult to take him out. Finally, they gets taken down by Platinum and Moose, and that's going to give mix-up a slight man advantage, but no, they can't push in because Indust has Uber. Yes, they do. Indust, again, building that Uber extremely fast. And he will be looking to probably push up with that uber advantage, but they're going to have to make a move very soon. And if they don't get in there within the next five seconds, Smacka will certainly have uber by the time they get in and get within reach. Yeah, uh, he's definitely going to get it here. So uh, I'm looking at Boink to see if he's going to make a move, maybe some sort of weird bomb in towards the second point. We've been seeing uh, earlier in this match Harblue make that move work out on Indust to get that force. So uh, maybe AG will try it here now. Or maybe they might. Not. I'm gonna be looking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking for Boink to be making a play from the alley side, but there are stickies there, and there is a moose there, and mooses are pretty scary, man. It it's difficult. I mean, this push from three to two is very difficult for teams. That that lobby is an entirely long choke point that's very difficult to get through, and so that. 
that bomb from Boink has to come either out of the alleyway or from the underpass. The underpass, you know, you're too far down to get any height, and the alleyway is the perfect angle with that long, that tall wall to use. Uh, but you do see the scouts from Mixup able to deny that, and Boink doesn't want to go for that. Yeah, it looks like they're opting to play safe here. They want to wait until they see the prize right in front of their eyes, or they can just snatch it rather than try to make a daring play that could cost them their middle point, their precious middle point. So they're just taking their time waiting until the stars align to make a play. There's uh, about 15 minutes left in this first half and I sure as God help that AG don't park the bus right here. Looks like Boink is going to go for an alleyway play. Uh, he's getting buffed up now by Indus and looks like both the soldiers, uh, no they're pulling back once again and you know AG are, are in a position where they don't have to push, I mean they're up around, but they probably should be pushing. There's so much time left in this first half, they gotta make something happen. Uh, well, yeah, Mixup does need to make something happen. Rando going down to Siegel there. Not sure if he just overextended onto some stickies, but both demos just really buffing their DPM right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, Platinum like now pushing in through yeah. the elbow. And let's see what they can make happen with this Uber. If they're even going to get in, they are just poking and prodding. Here comes Harblue for the bomb onto Sweater. Sweater dropping down into the red help. And they're just going to back it up a second. They're going to wait and see if they can re-engage. Not much happening on mid. They need to spread out though, AG needs to spread out, they're a little too clumped up, they're going to eat a lot of the same damage, both soldiers entering into through the yard right now, and Mixup's just going to back up, they're going to play it safe. Yeah, so what was a weird engagement has now turned into basically the same stalemate that we were looking at two minutes ago. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And uh, it's weird, I mean like AG could go for something, you saw Random trying to make that move from Lobby, but uh, it's tentative for Mixup as well, I mean if you botch that push 6 on 5 you could lose your second point, and as we saw, it's difficult to make your way out of last. It uh, definitely is. You know, one on a side note, Slen, this match, it seems better than the Mad Men Tryhards match. I don't know if it's just because there's a rivalry. Boink going down, by the way, to Harb, um, showing his Roamer superiority, as it were. But, Harb uh, tried to I... go for a, uh, a Pogo there in the lobby, and he does go for that bomb, but gets denied by Rando, still 5 on 5. And uh, looks like AG could make a move here, potentially. I mean, Harblue's going to be down for another 10 seconds, and AG could have a number advantage here, pushing in. And they do use that Uber in the lobby. This could be a mistake, though, as Rando is chasing out Smacka into the second point. He hasn't gotten the force, finally gets it there now as Seagull takes Sweater down. And now makes it in a very advantageous position, pushing in towards mid. You see Platinum on that right side, shooting upwards at Scouts. Uh, but here is Seagull now to help him out. That's going to scatter the AG forces all over the place as Enigma finishes off Rando in the yard. Kapow gets another pick though on the Platinum, so still trades going down either side as Squid takes down two Enigma and Moose. Great pipe coming there from Seagull to take down Squid. A two on two, a uh, three on two, sorry, as Mixup are trying their best to take care of this scout on mid. That's Kapow who's trying his best to take down Seagull. He gets him down to just 20, but no, isn't able Smack to get that one off. chasing that scout away with his needles. <laughs> I've never seen that before, stream. Yeah, uh, but yeah, the, the end result is that Mixup have come up with a uber advantage. So They have, um, yes, Indust going down there, but what we just saw was AG Scouts, I think what we in the business call doing work, I think I said that right? They yeah. definitely cleaned up three to four kills there at that mid, and that's exactly what AG's gonna want. They're gonna want Scouts that are performing, and looking their best for this match, and it looks like they are. And Mixup is looking to get in here, they'll probably transition through house. And Platinum will be leading the charge, the stickies are blown, Platinum is down into the red health. He will certainly be jumping jumping for the meta, cannot get him, they backed out into elbow, they are now in their house, and they are out of harm's way. And they now have the advantage, AG gonna concede the middle point just for now, although Indust again, yep. he likes to construct a my friends, he's almost got Uber. AG are playing so well, that was a perfect force on them, they didn't lose any players, and here comes their uber now, Rando and Squid are leading the way, they take down Smacka and Harblue, great picks coming in from AG, Scout gonna get cleaned up on mid, that's Moose, uh, and Dust is in trouble here, he goes down, but the damage has been done, Seagull is the only one alive for Mixup, he's gonna get cleaned up by Squid, who's having a fantastic game, AG take back mid. They sure do, with 6 down on Mixup, Rando pushing up to the forward spawn, he's gonna get the medic I think! Oh no, because the Ford spawn's actually way at the back because they capped mid already. <laughs> nah, I was hoping they'd, they'd spawn before. They should have got off the mid and he could have killed that medic. Uh, ah. but it, 
Again, mix up in dire strikes. AG, they lose their medic, but they're doing such a good job with their fragging classes of capping that fourth point before mix up can uh, get their forces there. Still, they might have been too aggressive as mix up are coming in hot. Harblue picks up two kills on both of the soldiers, and uh, mix up have a number advantage there. They're gonna get that second point back easily, but uh, I think we're gonna see yet another stalemate. AG in control of middle, and uh, this is the same stalemate. <laughs> yeah, but I but I do think that they're gonna push in and they will get the height advantage and they're gonna be putting those stickies down. Yeah, as you see, sweater is getting muscled out with some sticky spam and some scout aggression. They will be able to cap this mid and they do have a slight. That's not even really an advantage, but they will cap this middle point and this is just back and forth, and it's great. Well, this is the first time that we've seen mix up in control of middle with the Uber, so. You know, this is their chance now. The, the pressure's on the, um, you know, the ball's in their court to make a move on AG. Yeah, uh, you know, some of the stream chat is talking about how this is a stalemate. It's not really a stalemate. I mean, it's back and forth. The, the points are going between both teams. Harblue making a super high jump, not able to make anything happen. Just putting another 100 damage rocket on Boink before he exits the scene, the crime scene. And You're he's right. going to go at it again. You're right, it's not a stalemate, and we've been seeing that middle point exchange hands multiple times here, so that's not quite a stalemate, but we are seeing the same scenario, the same the same scenery at least. <laughs> that is true. I wish these but, map makers would put more plants and stuff. I want other things to look at and should be different on both sides, but as I say that, Harblue <laughs> makes a beautiful bomb, lands two beautiful rockets onto end us. He goes down, the Uber coming out for mix-up, they're gonna take this point, and Enigma pushing up to grab Sweater, I don't know if they have a chance of holding last without their demo, man. On, man. Someone in stream chat is saying the trees. We need to see trees on this map. But it is Metalworks. There are no trees. There's no plant life. And now Kapow, he's trying to defend the point as a heavy, but no, mix up. Come in, get that capture down there. They're doing a great job in transition, Ruin, just moving the moving the chains, you know? <laughs> moving the chains, indeed. Um, so this mid, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna watch from the POV of Squid. I want to see what kind of meat he's gonna be shooting tonight. And the, score, the score is 1-1, Classic Mix-Up have tied this one up here, and uh, yeah, check it out. Here we go, Squid entering mid, looking to make something happen, seeing that demo, not e able to really engage. Both soldiers will be jumping now, as Boink jumps really high over onto that soldier. Smacker trying to surf out down to 24 health, goes down to Rando Shotgun. The aggression has made its way all the way into Mix-Up's yard, and there are still picks happening. Platinum very hurt, takes taken out by Squid. And Enigma is on the medic. Indus, he is hurt, but I think he's running and wow. he is safe. There goes Enigma. AG takes this middle, but not before Harblue bombs in and tries to. Oh, lands a beautiful oh. air shot on Sweater. <laughs> the but <top>. Indus <laughs> will get out. Harblue playing like a monster tonight. Yeah. This is a treat. Uh, Squid was also playing like a monster too on that mid. He had two dominations before he died there to Harblue, and he was just doing a great job of positioning himself well. Dealing the damage, counting ammo even of the soldiers before diving in, and uh, just playing a great game. And now Harblue though, the monster that you're talking about, is just jumping himself around. He's scared of mid. AG have come back in with the heals, and uh, but here comes mix up. They don't want to give this up. Yeah, and just having that uber advantage will net them this middle point, and they need to make something happen within the next five seconds, or they risk smack at getting the uber before they can kill him, and we don't want that to happen. <laughs> and but Indus going down to the trap that was laid inside the ammo. Oh, and he drops that uber. That is a technical uber charge drop. <laughs> yeah, and now here's Mixup's chance to take back mid. You see them coming now through the yard. They don't want to use the uber here, or they can use it to you know take down a bunch of players. Uh, there's a lot of stickies all over the place uh, laid out by Sweater as Squid and Boink going down here to Platinum Enigma. That uber is going to get forced though. Um, so Mixup have gotten enough frags here to get this midpoint easily. They take down three players from AG actually. So Mixup can continue to move this actually, and they're moving their team now. Uh, Smacka pushes his team through the lobby with the heals, and AG are gonna have a tough time defending this. Yeah, if they don't get out there now, they risk just giving up their second point for free. As Mixup will all be pouring in right now, crashing into their second point. They need to get in there right now, and Mixup is coming in as we speak. No, they do back out. Platinum able to finish off Boink, Squid finishing off Platinum. That is a roam for a pocket. It's a decent trade. Mm -hmm. About five minutes left in this first half here, folks. The score is 1-1, and uh, Mix-Up in control of mid, so they're going to control the pace of the game for what could be the rest of this half. You see them building up the Uber here now in the lobby, and uh, taking things slow, just slowing things down and uh, allowing the teams to just sort of catch a breath here with all this sort of transitional action that we've been seeing. It's nice, because I want to talk about other th other things, you know? I love TF2, but I want to talk about the beauty of TF2. 
the, the yeah. finer things of TF2. And we're not having a lot of time because there is so much action. Mm -hmm. Both players for are all players for mix up and AG up. I'll be looking for Harblue to make a bomb here as he has successfully done in the past, though he does get denied by Rando there, and they'll just be waiting for him to come back up and try again. Yeah. I mean this is some really high level play we're seeing here. Players just throwing themselves in, knowing their advantages, but they're just they're both doing it so well that we haven't quite seen any team come out that far ahead. We see the Ubers now exchanging in the lobby and Smack is gonna get edged out, so that's gonna put Platinum in a very bad position. He's gonna Oh, barely survived there, but no, Boink does take him out. AG now want to take back mid. Boink gets another kill onto Moose, and here come the scouts from behind from Mixup, but no, Enigma's gonna get taken out. Squitter picks up a kill onto Siegel, and now Mixup have completely backed themselves out of mid. And like I'm saying, like these teams are just going back and forth here over this midpoint. It's crazy to watch. It is crazy, and it is a treat to watch. AG with a small man advantage. If they move quickly enough, they can take this second point without any contention from Mixup, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yeah, Rando in trouble. He craters on the top of the point there to Platinum. And uh, Platinum's in some trouble here himself, down to just 29 health, but is, is able to chase off that scout uh, back towards mid. And AG have themselves a slight uber advantage, but I don't think they're going to be able to utilize it because uh, they have too many respawners. And Mixup, sensing that weakness, are going to begin pushing through the yard. Right, and AG now having their full members up, two of them respawning, they will be coming in late, but if AG Indus decides to uber, it's okay, because those reinforcements will be coming in, they'll be full health, and it will be okay, they should contest this point, surely we'll expect that uber onto Rando here any second, Squid taking out Enigma, and Indus, oh, pops with one health, that is so dangerous, Indus is living large, Smacka trying to hold as long as he can, popping super late, but Indus is very hurt, he needs to get out right now, but not fa fall back too far, because his team will need heals, Kapow getting in on Smacka inside the elbow will get him. Boink taking out Platinum, Siegel taking out Kapow, and there are four members up for each team. Four fragging classes for Mixup, only three for AG, wow. but they will be backing out as AG does have the heals. Uh, Boink, wow, they're getting so wow. aggressive. Random, Rando taking out the pocket hard blue. Boink taking out Siegel with some crazy underpass aggression. This is just all wow. over the place. That is the first major medic mistake that I've seen Smack and make in this match, and that might be the round there for AG. There's just a couple minutes left, three minutes left in this half. AG need to move it quickly, but AG they have the advantage. It. This is their round to take, and uh, this is their movement now. They're going through the lobby. 90% Indus is going to have it here. They need to keep it slow. They don't want to botch this push. Enigma is going to be playing NG on last. He's not going to get the sentry up in time, though. Harblu playing the, the cheap spot over on the top right side. He's going to get spotted out uh, by Rando, but here comes that uber punch. Here comes the Uber, Rando pushing it way far, just leaving that leash of Indust going down. I don't think they're going to be able to take this. There's a heavy, and there's a demo, and there's a sentry, and there is everything. Everything is alive for Mixup. Only Sweater remains, wow. just taking out Moose. They can take back their second without a problem, full Uber advantage, and this may end as a 30-minute half at a 1-1 score. Wow, that, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, that is that is crazy to watch. Um, and yeah, great job there by Harblu on last to force the Uber of Indust very early on, and then kite that around for his team. The heavy and NG doing a great job of cleaning that one up there for Mixup. And now Mixup have recovered. Uh, they're actually considering pushing in the mid now with this Uber. And yeah, Platinum's just leading the way, walking onto the point. Uber is popular now as Platinum dives into the yard for a pick, doesn't get it to go. And AG have successfully backed themselves out of mid. Boink sacrifices himself for the good of his team. Uh, just a couple minutes left here and before this half end. Yeah, Mixup is going to be looking to get overly aggressive here. AG needs to expect that. They need to not let up on the chokes. They can't let them in for free. Um, you know, AG going to have the Uber here in about 10 seconds. And they can comfortably hold this second point. That What they're going to want right now is either a Borked push by Mix or they're just going to get in. And it looks like they're just going to get in. Rando coming in through the main point. Scout flanking in dust was going to make him pop. That was a beautiful pop by Enigma, also taking out Kapow, Boink taking Enigma out in trade, but Indust is playing on point Ooh. with the scout, and there is a back cap. Yeah, they're getting that cap there now, Seagull's trying to contest it with the pipes, but oh yeah, actually Platinum to save the day, takes down Squitter, and Mixup are able to save this point, and Dust does not have Uber, and Smacka does, so now we're seeing a reverse in the situation we saw just a couple minutes ago, Mixup pushing two with Uber advantage, Harblue goes down to Boink, here comes that Uber now from Platinum, he's chasing players down, takes down Boink, a uh, Boink, sorry, AG down two players, and Mixup are gonna get the second one. They will be capping that second point, but Smacka does no longer have his Uber. They can hold this, but Rando goes down to Platinum's aggression, and Sweater trying to pick him off as he is far up. 
they're just gonna back up, but they are two down. If Mixup tries to get aggressive right now, they may be able to take it just, just in a this couple small seconds window. Left. In this half, I mean, there's like less than a minute left, and this is mix up. This is mix up or nothing here. Now they're bombing towards the point. Sweater takes down Smacker early on. There's gonna be no heals as he hits a great pipe there on the platinum. AG looking like to hold this, and that's gonna be the first half here, folks. Hard blue on spy to try and save the day. I don't think it's gonna be enough there. Yeah, I was just about to make a comment about how Hard blue was coming back on spy. Maybe he didn't realize that the round was gonna be over so soon. And they just rushed it. Smacker going down to a nice sticky trap by Sweater. Squid capping the second point. There can't be much time left. No, no, there's there's literally less than a minute left. I, this timer should be going down any second here now. I think they're going to let it even out. And Dust has an Uber, but he knows he can't do anything with it. And uh, wow, what a great first half. 1-1, one, one, mix up against AG. This is quite the match that we're watching here, really. It is. And Dust just popping that Uber for safety on Kapow the Heavy. And a scout behind looking to take out the demo. But he may just get signed, and he does. So there is the half, <laughs> folks. 1-1. One, one, a very close game. This is a great game that we're watching. Yeah, it's incredible to see the point exchange so many, like, the second and even midpoints uh, exchange so many times here on Metalworks, and I think that really comes down to the combos. I mean, you have Platinum, a world-class pocket, uh, playing with Smacka, who's a LAN veteran, against Rando and Indus. And Indus, this is his first season in Invite, and he's playing an incredible match. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There are a lot of newbies to invite here. Um, Indust making his way in from open. And man, he builds that Uber. We have Boink coming in from Highlander. And he has crazy jumps and is really agile. So it just goes to show you that it doesn't really matter. And it takes all kinds. You can come from anywhere. You can have any background of TF2 and be very good. All you need to have is the ambition. Yeah. And there's been very minimal drops. I mean, and Dust had that one uh, UCD early on. I think Smacka might have had one. I'm not quite sure. I had to check the stats there. Uh, no, Smacka hasn't had one. And Dust has actually had two Uber drops in this match. Uh, looking at the stats here now, uh, Rando actually has the most damage for his team, 8200, followed by Sweater with 60. Or sorry, by Squitter, sorry, uh, and Boink tied at 6700. Sweater surprisingly low damage at 6200, but I think that's due to the sort of uh, choky nature of this match. And like yeah. you said earlier in earlier casts, that this is a soldier man. Yes, it is. Um, you know, we take a look at those stats: Squid 26 and 12. That's a pretty crazy KD for a scout. On Scout, you're trying to flank, you're trying to make plays, but he's got 26 kills, and he's doing a lot of damage. He's doing as much damage as their Roamer, who's also doing very well, Boink. Um, if we take a look over on the mix-up side, we have Enigma, uh, top pointing, 9 frags, 15 deaths. That is a little on the low side, with about half the damage of Squid. So I can tell you right now that the scouts of mix-up are underperforming. It's, yeah. it's as simple as that. But who's really carrying their team right now is Platinum. He has almost 10,000 damage there. That's more than anyone else on the board by a mile. And he is absolutely destroying this match. And you can see it in the way that their combo's playing. In transition, he's just pushing it, oh, just doing such a great job there, getting the frags that they need. And, uh, or not really getting the frags that they need, but just playing the combo well and keeping Smack alive. And, uh, it's just been a great match. It's 1-1 after the first half. And typically we're going to see a team with at least a score of three points, but... Uh, you know, yeah. we, we aren't seeing that. Yeah, we usually do see that, that 3 0, oh, 3 1, sometimes 3 2. It's, it is pretty rare uh, that it's that evenly matched, but a 1 1 that's about around per 15 minutes, which means that there's a lot of back and forth. It's really evenly matched. And I really couldn't have asked for a better game. Um, Hard Blue's playing very well. Um, you, know, I, you know, in terms of what we were talking about, who's going to be playing well. I think we're now... Okay, I thought we were watching the slideshow TF2 there for a second. I was a little worried. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I was talking about how Harb would be looking to to make the big plays. Siegel is 15 and 9. Um, actually, that's not bad. That's respectable. He's not doing too bad on demo there. Um, again, the scouts are underperforming for mix-up right now. They need to bring it back together in the second half if they're going to want to come out ahead here. Again, this is a very important match for them as the LAN playoff implications involved will potentially put them out. I'm not sure because yeah. I understand that they'll both be 6-4, but does that mean that that mix-up might drop below Mad Men because right. AG 
beat Mixup technically. Yeah. So their six four might be better than Mixup six four. I mean, unless I'm crazy, I know there's some, well, some crazy. Well, the mad the madman just picked up a forfeit win tonight over Root plus six, so that would put them in third mm. place. So Mixup and AG would be tied for fourth. But if uh, Mixup win this one, they're going to be definitely solidifying their spot in third place. So. Uh, you know, this is, like you said, a big match here. If you guys are just joining us now, we're watching a very close match between Classic Mix of the third seed and Apocalypse Gaming, the number five seed here in week five. And like you said, Ruin, these matches uh, will make a difference as we head into the final weeks of ESCA. So now we're beginning the second half here now. The colors are swapped. Mix will be in the red, AG on the blue, and I'm going to be watching Rando on this mid. Sounds good. Um, so at this mid, Depending on, again, the soldier play is so important. When those soldiers make that initial bomb based off of the demos damage and the demos comms, that's going to be your entire mid right there. Let's see what happens. Sweater trying to put out some stickies on the lower ground, trying to deny those scouts. He does. Only a demo and scout in so far for mix-up. Probably doing a huge bomb onto the back of their hut there. Um, and it looks like AG is getting those picks early on. Four down already for mix-up. Too fast to even mention, but Enigma does take out Sweater, but it's going to be too little too late. End us now at 75%. They're going to be rolling this into second, and they can even get into last. This is almost as bad as losing your medic on mid as well, because he's only yep. at 48%. He has no one to build on. This so is a textbook play. Yeah, AG yep, now have that fourth point down, 50% advantage. They don't even need Sweater when they push last year. Moose has switched himself over to Heavy in an attempt to defend the last point, but here comes Squid and Rando out the left side into last with this Uber, and Dust has popped here now, saving Squitter, and they're looking around for some frags. They're going to chase down Smacker right away before he can get this Uber. Smack is in a lot of trouble. He goes down. Kapow picks up a kill onto Platinum. It's four they just four need to back out. Yeah. Oh, oh. but he no. Yeah, and Seagull hits a great pill there to take down Indus right at the tail end of that push, and Mixup have, are able to hold that one off and uh, live another day. They will indeed. Enigma taking out Boink there on the end. Not capping right now, trying to get onto Sweater. Sweater does go down. They will cap this second point, but Squid and Kapow both coming in. They're going to fend off that scout. Seagull trying to put in some pressure, taking off Squid. Kapow will have to run here, and they will cap that second. And Indus just getting up now, just starting to build a Zuber with Smacka, gonna have a, about a 25 to 30 percent advantage on wow. Indus. Action so, a turnaround. Game, yeah, action packed second half here. I mean, AG looked like they were gonna take that first round, but Mixup astoundingly held their last point without Uber up until that very last moment when. Uh, when they were able to take down Indus. So now we see an even Uber situation. Smacka has a little bit of an advantage, but I don't think Mixup can really take this into mid. And it uh, looks like, yeah, they are going to let this sort of stalemate out. Yeah, and while we're on a stalemate, let's talk about how if Mixup loses this game, they run the risk of not going to land, and that would be the first land that Mixup hasn't gone to in... How many? Four? Seven, five? Six, six, six? Six seasons, Some I think? crazy amount yeah. of seasons? More than I have fingers on my left hand? It's a lot. So... It, this is a really, really important match, guys, um, and that's why it's so close. Both teams playing very carefully, but Boink does eat a pill to the face going down. Mixup may be looking to push off this. Platinum just kind of testing the waters, but he's going to fall back to his medic, and they're going to try to play this extra safe. They want to make sure that if they do push, that they have a sizable advantage. Yeah, like you said, there's a lot on the line here. It's almost like Grand Finals, where if you push and you botch it, that could be, you know, a, a, a big important round for your enemy. So, uh... Yeah, AG are just going to chill it out here after sacrificing Boink, and they might even try to go for it once again. Yep, and you know, AG, Mix, neither of them have a round advantage here, so it's hard to say, you know, who's, whose court this ball is in. And I like the ball game of TF2, I just don't know who has to make the play here. I mean, I guess AG has midpoint, so they have the spawn advantage, maybe they'll be looking to make the play. It's going to be hard to make a play on Indust when he's hiding in that house area. Mm -hmm. Having that roof over his head, so I would assume that Boink will be- Oh, but there's Stickies there! He goes down again to Seagull. Yeah, and Seagull and just making his stats look good. Yeah, Boink is having a hard time making these bombs work out for him, and uh, it's it's tough to watch. But now you see Mixup beginning to move their way in through the lobby. Harbour's actually going to go for a sacrifice here. He's bombed himself uh, from the left side of mid, hits one rocket, but doesn't uh, get it to go. And that's going to even it out once again. Yeah, I, I don't see Mixup pushing here. They're just going to wait for Harblue to get back up. They're, oh, there's a sticky drop there, and they take out Kapow. They'll surely be looking to push after that. Harblue will be up in five seconds, but Sweater's behind them. He needs to get out. He does jump out, and his sticky trap is blown. So they, oh, putting down more stickies on the ground, yeah, and I don't you don't want to walk onto those. 
Yeah, Kapow is going to get in just a matter of seconds, and as a scout, he can get to mid very quickly. So, uh, mix up taking that into account, and they're going to decide to just sticky up the lobby, maybe keep a, another tricky little trap there on the ammo pack that Indus fell for last time. And yep, and like he is doing that. He, what he is doing is he's using this opportunity to put up forward sticky traps. Sticky's on the floor, not so covert. We can see those. But Seagull's stickies, on the other hand, they're hiding on the inside of house. They're hiding on the med pack near the ammo. It's That's dangerous. I mean, you don't expect the demo to put forward sticky traps up, really. And Seagull has already gotten two to three picks this round just off of those forward sticky traps. He's really utilizing those traps very well. Mm -hmm. Bringing you scores around from around ESCA, we see the top 10s have defeated Vector Gaming 5-1. Uh, Madmen take that forfeit win over Root plus 6, and Tryhards are up 2-0 over Runaway 5 right now. So the pauses come off. Again, the score is still 1-1 on Metalworks, and uh, there's about Whoa. 20 minutes left in the second half there. As w Boink taking out Seagull with the crazy jump in close quarters. They're gonna go for an uber v uber trade. However, Mixup is down a demo man. Wow! Randall landing a beautiful rocket, uh, air rocket onto uh, Platinum taking him out there. Harbly trying to take out the medic. Uh, and he does go down to the pistol of Moose. And it's sorry, it's hard to tell who's alive and who's dead with the uh, bug from the pause here, but only Seagull and Smacker remain. They shouldn't try to get into last here. Um, <laughs> Are you watching Boink right now? He just did the craziest set of like rocket pogoing to get catch up a second point. Anyway, AG has pushed themselves in towards last sweater, picks up a kill onto Seagull. Can they get this? No, Squitter is taken down and Smacka lives with just seven health. Uh, AG are gonna have to. Oh, pull back and... Boink playing out of his mind just picks that medic with that last rocket out of his clip right before he dies. That was a nice play by him. Both roamers playing fairly well in this game. Boink reeling it back in, making those big plays for his team. Harblue putting some aggression onto the combo, making them back out so they can't secure that second point. But Indus does have a 70% advantage. No one back at the spawn to help build with Smacka yet. There's Seagull, and they'll have an 80% advantage. They'll be looking to take this in so they can secure that second point and re-push last. Hopefully they can get in for free. They are looking to push through the alley right now. Rando is getting pocketed. Boink to follow, and there comes the aggressive jump by Rando. Not really seeing any, oh my goodness, eating yeah. so much spam from the demo there. As I say, there was nothing coming in. And Rando may be looking to jump the medic here to try to make a play, but he's simply too far. I do not agree with that. And I feel like they should have sided with keeping him alive. That might have gave them better chances of holding the second point. Right, but now AG are two players down and Mixup will surely push their 70% uber, just 30% away from getting in here now as Boink goes down to the pistol of Moose, and AG are going to back themselves off of the second point here now, just giving it up all the way so Mixup can get that free capture there, and now Mixup have a sizable uber advantage pushing in towards mid. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, the stream chat is talking about that sick air shot by Rando on Platinum. I did mention that, I didn't scream, but it was a very nice air shot. And Mixup is looking to come into mid right now with 70% advantage on Indust. He is backing out. Some of that aggression spilling into the yard of AG. But Boink will make it out safely. Indust with yeah. an 80% advantage sitting on there too. They should be able to hold this with only a scout down. They do have their demo, so they can't I've, secure. Yeah, I've noticed this again and again. AG are forcing the Ubers from Mixup and backing off with only losing one player. They've done this over and over on this map, and they're just so good at it. And now, Indus has a large Uber advantage pushing in towards second point. Squitter leading the way uh, with Sweater, and they do get the pick onto Enigma. That's going to be a great entry frag as Harblue bombs in, doesn't get the force onto Indus, yeah. and now Mixup down two without forcing that Uber, and they're just not able to execute that play as well as AG are. Yep, just very, very good mechanics from Indus, able to anticipate that incoming damage from Harblue and not pop that uber. He knew he was hurt, he knew he was going to be bombing in, but he did hold that, and that may get them this point for free, as Mixup does not have the uber yet. They do oh, know, but Indus drops to another trap by Seagull. That just keeps happening. He needs to check his traps, man. Maybe he needs to turn up his FOV. I was watching Rando, he was looking around like crazy, but Seagull just had the sneakiest little trap on that second point near that rafter thing, and wow, great play there. That, that's going to be a round, you know, saving play there from uh, Mixup, as uh, they're able to clean everybody up, and Smack is going to have a large advantage. They should be able to get mid back for free. Sweater, Rando, and Boink all down, and uh, Mixup able to get back into this game. Yeah, and I was just getting finished talking about how well Indus is playing. <laughs> yeah. 
and then he walks right into that trap and you know some people may say well that's the pockets job he's supposed to check for those stickies and uh you know sweater opting to put those stickies in the same exact spot that indus was dropped in and that's inside the little metal shaft um on the second point um, yeah, and sneaky. the ubers are even though so i mean you know smacka got his uber popped even though all members of ag except for kapow went down so yep. they're okay. 1-1, one, one, back to another uh, hold on second. Yeah, and uh, wow. Like I said, this match has been so close. I mean, just nipple hairs are you know, deciding the difference between these two teams here as uh, Mixup are Ubered in here. Now they do pick up Sweater. A big mistake there from Adust to drop him. And uh, he might have been a little shaken up there from dropping that Uber earlier on. Kapow goes down here now. It looks like Boink and Rando get some frags. But I think Mixup are in a pretty decent position now as they're bombing back Harblue. And here he goes to take down uh, Rando. And Dust goes down here as well. And Mixup are looking strong on this push. Yeah, Mixup will be looking to take this aggression onto the second point. Boink trying to come in and defend as best he can, but he gets taken out by Harblue. Harblue getting a 3k there on the flank and on the point. Some good play, some good timing by him, able to work with the scouts and get those three picks. <laughs> yeah, and uh, now Mixup are in control of this match firmly. The score is still 1-1, about 15 minutes left in the second half here. And you know, Mixup have all the time in the world to make this play into last work. We've seen the engineer play come out from Enigma, you know, we've seen sniping in the past from Harblue. Let's see what they do here now. Yeah, I am really interested to see what kind of creative play we may see from AG. They seem to have some pretty creative minds on their team, so I'd be interested to see if they're going to be trying anything different, anything rather than, you know, a heavy and potentially a sniper. Although there's no reason not to run a sniper on the initial peak, whether the opposing team has uber and you don't or whether they have uber and you do there's really no reason as a scout what are you gonna do on last unless you're close quarters and if your targets are ubered you're not doing anything too so boink <laughs> taking out enigma there on the side but and that's a not... pretty obvious you know enigma going to heavy or engineer play because we've never seen enigma snipe <laughs> <laughs> that is true i doubt enigma will try to go anything um except maybe ng he might have been suiciding for ng so we might see that yeah, uh, Seagull heavy. able to get an early pick there on the Squitter in the lobby before Platinum goes down. But uh, Smack has successfully backed himself off without using Uber quite yet. He's down to 16 health, and this is a very precarious position for him. Uh, Harblue and Seagull both in the red. But yeah. it looks like Mixer were able to hold that off without using Uber, and that's key because AG are not going to have one to defend their last. Let's see if they can pull off what uh, Mixup did not too, many, not too long ago. Yeah, they will have six up for this last push, but Enigma coming in on heavy. If they play this right, if they keep their heavy at maximum health, there's no way they can lose this. They just play around the heavy, that's all they have to do. Yep, Harlu takes the minority of the Uber here, he gets onto Sweater. It looks like the heavy does go down on the point, and AG are able to defend this pretty dang well. I mean, it's five on two now, Harlu from behind to take down and dust a key pick there for his team, but Mixup have wiped, and AG were successfully able to defend that, and... It's crazy how many Ubers have been defended on last without Uber. Yeah, I mean, AG just playing really well, making precise adjustments to their aim, focusing their rockets on the same targets. I mean, they got Rando and Boink are on some laser targeting level where they just are locking on, and man, I if Mixup's a Blackhawk, they're going down. Yeah, oh. I think, I think the problem there was that Platinum was just rolling out and he didn't quite get into the fight in time for a mix-up, so they were essentially playing that 5 on 6 and maybe they maybe they rushed that a little bit, but uh, now we see Mix-up in a position to take the second point, but Boink with a great bomb to take down Smacka, Platinum and Seagull both going down here as well, and Mix-up about to wipe for the second time, AG. Great job here in the defensive positions to take back the second point, now they're going to take back mid easily. Yes they will, and they have a full advantage they are going to like the situation that this is putting them in, and I like the way they're they're looking. They're going to be taking this Uber directly into second, probably through Alley as it is the safest entryway. I really hope that they check for stickies this time because they've had full <laughs> advantage on pushes before and had it get botched by a nicely placed sticky trap, not taking anything away from Seagull, but I feel like they should be a little more meticulous while they're pushing. 
Yeah, watching in dust here now. He's just uh, milking this uber here, allowing Rando to clear some space for his team. Boink comes in to assist, and they do pick off Platinum before using the uber. In fact, a heavy Enigma in the forward spawn gets denied right away, and dust hasn't even used his uber quite yet. So mix up down two players. The fourth point gets captured for AG, and here they go in towards last. Enigma and Platinum are going to be down for just a few more seconds, and here comes that uber from AG now. Smacka not going to get it in time. Harblue goes down at the door. Now here comes the rest of AG, streaming in towards the point. Rando gets the pick onto Smacka. Moose going down, and AG take the